Okay, we also want to bring in um, two link arms and four link pegs. And just like we did with the wheel, what we're going to want to do is do a revolute constraint on the link arm in the wheel and then a fastened mate on the link peg to the wheel. So we'll go ahead and do the revolute here first. Pick an end where it goes on to the uh, wheel. If it's backwards, go ahead and flip it and apply and then do the same thing with the other end. We need a revolute. So make sure you pick the same side origin. So on this time, I will pick the outside of that and solve it. And then so that you don't accidentally fasten the link peg to the linkage arm, uh, it would be a good idea to turn off the visibility. So just click the eyeball and then do a fasten mate do a fasten mate from the link peg to the wheel and do that on both of them if it goes backwards just flip it around And then, of course, after you do that, you can turn the visibility back on and it's still in position. So now when we rotate the wheel, they are kind of moving together. OK, go ahead and do that for both sides of the train. Okay, next we want to do some gear constraints between the wheels. Even though they're not physically geared together, they are tied together with the link arm. And we need to get all four wheels moving together. So to do that, I'm going to select my two revolutes at a time. So I've got revolute one and two, which is on one side. And when I apply that, then go ahead and grab your link arm and see if you can get your wheels to move. Well, that locked them in place. So if it locks them in place and they don't move, edit that constraint, the gear constraint you just applied, and reverse the direction. And then reapply it. So now when I grab the link arm, I can get one side of the wheels to move. So we need to make sure that the two sides move independently of each other and then move together. So we'll do that again. We'll do a gear constraint, and this time I'll pick Revolute 3 and 4. And this time, as soon as I did that, it threw up an air. So I know I'm going to need to reverse the direction automatically. So I'll go ahead and constrain those. And then now the other side of the train does move, and I want to tie then the two sides together. So we'll do one more gear constraint from say Revolute 1 to Revolute 4 and apply it. And now when I grab one arm, we can see both sides are moving. Okay. So that would be the next step. And now what we're gonna wanna do is Let's unfix the train body by right clicking and unfix. And I had to turn the visibility on my track off. So let's go ahead and show the track again here. Okay, so now we'll be ready to put the train on the track. 